If you're planning to replace the brake rotors on your car, here is a quick tip that you might find helpful. Many times after removing the brake caliper, you go to remove the rotor and you go, what? This thing's not coming off at all. And then you sit there and you go, well, let's see if it just comes off. Well, it's not even moving. And the reason is it gets rusted right here around the tight fit between the rotor and the hub on the axle. This can be the front rotor or the back rotor, same problem. So in order to remove this, it's going to take a little force. There's a couple different ways you can do it. First off, you need a good face shield or a pair of goggles. And you're going to need a heavy hammer. You can use a heavy hammer and a block of plywood. Or like this, I have a big heavy brass hammer. And let me show you the technique I use to try to free up the rotor here from the hub. But before you do that, if you have time, spray some rust penetrant right around here and let it sit for a while. That'll really help loosen up the rotor. I've loosened up the bolt, but note I haven't completely removed it. I don't want this rotor to come flying off and hit me or hit something else in the shop. You back it out, leave it in a few threads, and most cars have some type of bolt that secures the rotor to the hub. Then taking the heavy hammer, what you're going to do is you're going to shock the rotor. You're not going to get in behind a hammer outward on it. You're actually going to hit the face of it and try to break it loose as you work around it a nice wrap like this. There it goes. And once it breaks free, now I can remove this bolt. Notice sometimes it takes quite a few wraps of the hammer to get it to break loose. Now, a couple things real quick. Before you put the new rotor on, you want to thoroughly clean this face uh, with either Scotch-Brite on a drill or air tool or use sandpaper. And then always, when replacing the rotor, use a little bit of anti-seize compound and just wipe it right in here on the hub. And that'll make it much easier to remove the rotor next time around.